I'm going to show you how to get reputation with the Artisans Consortium in Dragonflight. Now, this is one of the most annoying ones to get reputation for, but there's actually a trick that makes it decently fast, but it's very time-gated, but you can actually get it done really reasonably fast with one of the ways to do it. So there's only a few ways to do it. Uh, as I like and also I want to take a look at some of the ways so one of the things I was told the most about was these weekly profession quests from for whatever profession you have. So jewel crafting is one I have I have it over 50 so I get this quest and I can do it once a week and uh, It gives me dragon knowledge, but everyone I ever saw said that it also gives artisans consortium reputation And I actually don't see that it says Valdrek and Accord, but I'm gonna do the quest real fast and skip ahead to the end You don't have to watch me do it and uh, see if maybe it actually does somehow give rep for them anyway. All right, so this quest wanted me to craft two of these pendants, Shimmering Clasp. I could craft those if I wanted to up here using really expensive Mystic Sapphires, much that is bottom of the auction house. I'm gonna craft two of these, and then we're gonna turn this thing in, and we're gonna see if, even though it doesn't say anything about Artisan's Consortium, maybe somehow it'll give it anyway, or it was changed from beta. We'll see here. I'm gonna turn this thing in. And uh, it does, in fact, give the Artisan's Consortium rep. So once a week, you can get 125. I have a much faster way than that, but definitely could do those. There's that in the other profession. That's 250 every week, which will definitely get you on your way towards getting um, the next rep. So I just now got up to two of five, but now I'm going to need 2,000 for the next one. So doing both those weeklies, if that was all I did, that would literally take uh, eight weeks. So two months. To get that, well, thankfully I have a better way. But also, there's another way that I have told, been told that you can get it. Also, what's this guy? Is this guy? No, I don't think that guy's it. Okay. Over here, there's Asley. And I think she gives uh, a... Is it weekly or bi-weekly? I don't know. I'm assuming it's the same thing, though. Uh, the main thing is this person does the same crap where you get these things for knowledge. Uh, but also, uh, I'm assuming it's going to give it. Now, I'll actually test it, though, for us and see if it's true but I, I at this point i believe it's true after the last one all right so in order to do these quests i have to go to fill crafting orders uh you don't actually do it there you go to the specific bench so i grab the jewel crafting one so i'm going to go to this jewel crafting bench and then i am going to go to crafting orders and you know you could search but usually the orders in here are like Im almost impossible to fill for the vast majority of people so instead what i did and we'll see if this works i assume this will work i had a friend get on and request these pendant of impending perils from me and i got all the ingredients i didn't do five with commissions of one silver and then i am going to do all these orders which i've never actually done orders like this before so we're going to find out together so i started it and then i create it and uh, complete the order and that's all i gotta do now i just gotta do that five times all right we're on the last one here of the five create that ship it all right it worked okay cool now we can see 100 confirm will this give artisan consortium rep which i have a feeling it will and i'll get my three knowledge complete and it only gave 250 artisans consortium so doing that little cheat if you have a friend who can help you that's 500 per week so that plus if you do both your professions you have two crafting professions you do that one and you do the other one that's 750 per week which I'd then be able to get up to uh, whatever comes after for the three of five in three weeks then or something. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's another one that I've been told about, which is uh, to right across from that person, the other side of these stairs. Again, this is going to be right over here on the map, if you didn't realize. Uh, there's this guy and this guy that might give quests, apparently, once a week or something, maybe bi-weekly. And uh, we're going to go ahead and check this one out. I've never done one before, so uh, this also gives knowledge, which is cool. And uh, Dragon Scale rep, which is cool, but it doesn't say anything about Artisan Consortium. So I'm going to test it for us and find out if it actually gives Artisan Consortium. So for these ones, they're actually more normal quests from what I saw. So gather 25 mundane gems from the Dejarin of the Dragon Isles for Gnoklin Quirk Coil of the Dragon Scale Expedition. All right, cool. Okay, so now that one, we can see where that's at. It wants me to go, yep, only in Waking Shorts for this one. These will be different for everybody depending on your profession, depending on the week, I guess. So I'm going to go check that out. Okay, so for this quest, it wants me to go back to this old school place back from leveling and kill these guys. So I guess I'm going to go AO AOE farm all these guys very slowly as a holy priest and see how long this takes. Also, I found out the hard way that these guys can actually holy lock me. So it's going to take me even longer than I thought. I can only grab like six or seven at a time. All right, so I just killed like six or seven of them. And I only got two of the gems. So this is going to take me a long time. This might take me like 20 minutes. 
All right, so I can tell you as a holy priest, that was absolutely miserable. But if I was literally any other class, I could actually AOE farm. It wouldn't have been that bad. So we got that done. So now what we need to do, I guess, is fly back. Yeah, I got to fly back to uh, Valdraken. All right, so I made it back to Valdraken now. We are over at the guy. Let's go ahead and turn this in and confirm whether or not it actually gives the rep that we need. So it's going to give me a jewel crafting knowledge, drag scale expedition rep, Valdraken accord rep, and... It did, in fact, give me the Artisan's Consortium rep, but only 125. So that's 250. If I do both my, if I have two crafting professions, I do both of them from this guy, both of them from the profession trainers, and then both the ones over from that person. That's collectively a uh, thousand that we can get every, however these refresh. I've heard rumors that these refresh every three days. I've also heard it's a weekly, bi-weekly. Like, so I don't know what to find out what the cooldown is. I'd say at the latest, it's once a week. Uh, but it might be less than that, but it's not once a day, apparently. It's somewhere between more than once a day and less than once a week or something. Um, but yeah, so that's another one. Now we're up to um, a thousand that we can get every week or whatever. But then that leaves me with the last one, which is, in my opinion, the best one, because you feel like you have the most control over it, which is uh, these interesting contracts. So if you're an inscriptionist, you might already know about these, but if not, just head over into the auction house and type in like consortium contract and there will be these now this is an interesting thing so what this does you can use one of these and it'll give you a seven day buff that will in the case of the silver one make it so you get 12 rep with the artisans consortium every time you complete a world quest in the dragon isles or you buy this gold one and it gets 15 now if you have the gold i extremely highly 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 recommend buying the gold no matter what it costs. And I'm sure in the future, this price might go down. Right now, we're like a week after launch and it's 10,000 gold. It could be way cheaper in the future or more, probably less though. Um, so yeah, buy one of those and then go get out of your mailbox and then use it. And that'll give you this buff and it lasts for seven days. And it'll make it so you get 15 rep, if it's the gold one, 15 rep uh, every time you complete a world quest. Well, world quest, as far as I'm aware, refresh every day. At least that's what I was told. Hopefully it's not, that's not, hopefully that's correct. Uh, so once you complete the main story, you'll unlock world quests. And you'll see these things like this. Uh, you can go here and get this random thing. And when you complete it, if you have this contract buff, this will give 15 rep with the Artisan's Consortium. This will give another 15 well, with this one. Uh, this one will also give 15 if this is a daily, which I think it is. Uh, and that one's not a daily. Maybe it is. I don't know. This one's definitely a daily, so you get 15 for that. And then you would uh, go over to the next zone, and you would do this one for another 15. And then you do this for another 15, this for another 15, another 15, go here. And we got 15, 15, 15, 15. And then we'd go over here and we would get, uh, I think there was only one I already did it today. Um, but yeah, so depending on the day, depending on what it has, I don't know if those are actually daily or not. I was, I was led to believe those are all daily world quests. And if they are, you'll be able to get somewhere between 150 and 250 um, Artisan's Consortium reputation every single day. Which then, if you combine that with the weeklies, you can actually get your Artisan's Consortium reputation grind over with in like, I don't know, two weeks maybe? Something like that? Or you can get, not, not the full grind, but you can get through most of the grind in like two weeks. Uh, and then to finish the grinding, that last level is probably going to take like another month after that. Because that last level is going to be like a huge chunk of rep. So if you've actually watched this far and you don't know, you may be wondering why, why even do this? Well, there's this guy and holy crap. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, I already forgot by now. But just a reminder is if you have enough rep, you can buy these things with Artisan's Metal that lets you increase your um, knowledge for different professions. So there's up to three that you can get. You'll need a lot of rep to be able to get them depending on what it is. Um, but yeah, once you get enough rep, you'll be able to buy 30 knowledge points for each profession that you have. So in my case, tailoring and jewel crafting, I'll be able to get 10, 10, 10, and 10, 10, 10. So I'll get 30 and 30. Uh, and then on top of that, they also have... Uh, different recipes for different things, schematics, uh, just a lot of stuff you can look through here. So yeah, you can definitely look through all these and see if there's anything that you want. They also have in here, um, somewhere in here, there's a tabard. And then there's also a pentagold seal, which may is used in some recipes in case you needed that for something. So yeah, that is why you want to do this. It's totally a good thing to do. Uh, although getting the Artisan's Medal to buy literally everything in here may be a totally uh, different task. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the reason to do it. So that is why you want to get the Artisan's Consortium reputation. 
But yeah, so uh, that's how to do it. That's how you can get like, I don't know, let's see, what was it? A thousand per week from the quest and then maybe 200 per day from uh, the uh, scroll thing or whatever, the contract. So that's like, what, 1,400 plus 2,400 rep per week, which means to hit the maximum level would take a little over five weeks. So basically a month and a half if you do all this stuff every single day and every single week, assuming it's weekly. If those are bi-weekly, then we're looking at like one month and you can get the maxed out, you know, five of five reputation with them. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. That's the guide. That's how to do it, guys. That's how you get rep with the Artisans Consortium in World of Warcraft Dragonflight.